G'day, just a really quick video. I uh, recently bought a box full of um, the Sonoff uh, Wi-Fi controlled switches from IT Studio. And they arrived, they look sort of quite reasonable or whatever. And I was just making a test lead um, for uh, one of them using a plug and socket to uh, just do some evaluation testing on it. And the device itself like looks quite nice. It's got an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip on it. The other goodies, they, it's obviously a universal board because they have it for uh, either the, the RF enabled one as, as in the 433 meg as well as um, 2.4 or what have you in one hit. Um, when I was trying to terminate the wires on this end, I uh, tinned the wires, popped them into the uh, very small terminal blocks. In my opinion too small given the sort of people that are likely to use these. And the uh, as I was tightening it down, the terminal block spun very easily on this end. As you can see, it's um, now rotated around, and I just sort of kept going. That's why it's broken out the side of it. Not that they're very strong anyway. And I had a bit of a look at it, and the uh, the pin is through the solder, and they've got quite a lot of solder there, but it doesn't hold the pin. Um, so even though they've got a ton of solder on the connections, it's not actually holding the pins and the terminals will move inside the solder which is um, in my opinion pretty dangerous because you're going to end up with high resistance joints and all sorts of issues and you've got these things sitting in your ceiling or wherever else you're going to put them um, that could uh, cause potential uh, electrical fire issues and, and other stuff depending on the loads that you're running with them because they are supposedly rated at 10 amps at um, you know, 230, 240 volts so I thought I'd point that out so I'm going to uh, go through all the ones that I've got, probably put a better quality terminal block on them because I think those ones are a bit crap for what they've done, but certainly unsolder um, every one of these and uh, re-solder them and then make sure that they're uh, in there properly. So that's uh, probably a good safety tip for anybody else that's got some of these. So that's the uh, the Sonoff Basic from uh, IT Studio. Um, for $4.60 US each, I could almost say something nasty about you get exactly what you pay for in terms of Chinese quality at that price. Um, but they're very popular, so uh, we'll see how we go. Cheers.